Hello again and welcome back to my vlog. Uh, another little bit from Choices, Shad Helmstetter. And this is why I needed it. What we talked about yesterday led into this. Practicing choice thinking controls procrastination. Hmm. Choice management would have a great impact in some people's lives if it did nothing more than help them get procrastination under control. Being aware of your choices does a lot more than that, of course, but procrastination is almost always the direct result of failing to manage your choices. Let's say that it is Saturday afternoon and it's time to water the lawn. It's not a big job. It takes only a few minutes to go outside, set up the sprinkler, and turn on the faucet. But it is a task that has been easily put off now and then over the past few weeks and the lawn is starting to show it. The thought comes to mind. I should water the lawn. In the past, the next thought has been, I'll do it later. But this time you say, is this a choice? Yes, it is. You then say, this is my choice. And then, my choice is, the choices are, one, to water the lawn, two, to not water the lawn. And then you complete the process by saying, my reason for my choice is, and complete the sentence. Try that with the next minor opportunity for pro procrastination that comes your way and watch what happens. Keep handy your 3x5 card with the four steps written down on it and go through each step, reading them out loud or saying them silently to yourself, and go through the process. Do your best not to put it off. At first, your old programs, those that got you to believe that you are a, proc a procrastinator, may try to fight the new idea and tell you that it won't work. But keep doing it every chance you get. Each time it works for you, you will, you will be creating an important new I take action program in your subconscious mind. In time, enough of those new programs will get together and could help you make a very important change in one of the basic parts of your behavior. Now you get things done. If you would like to get things done, becoming a choice thinker can make a big difference in helping you get there. Follow the four steps of choice. Imagine the effect that getting into the habit of following the, those four simple steps of choice could have in your life. If you make a point of asking yourself those four questions every time the opportunity comes up, this is what you will be doing for yourself. One, you will be more aware of your choices. The real secret to making choices is in the recognition that we are making choices in the first place. When you ask yourself the question, is this a choice? You, get your, you put yourself in touch with yourself and with the choices you would really like to make. Two, you develop a habit of letting yourself know that the choice is yours. When you say to yourself, this choice is mine, you begin to program yourself not only to recognize how many choices are really yours to make in the first place, but you give yourself the program that tells you, I take responsibility to make choices for myself. There is no freedom quite like the freedom of recognizing that you make choices for yourself. But that freedom is a habit that you have to create and practice for yourself. Exercising the right to say, this choice is mine at every opportunity helps you create the habit. Three, you will always know what your choices are. When you state your choices in clear, simple words, out loud, or to yourself, you will always know what your choices really are. That not only leaves the responsibility of making choices for yourself up to you, but it helps you to recognize and understand the choices that you make. When you state to yourself, my choice is you will automatically feel the positive effects of taking that responsibility. You're doing it. You are making the decision. You are creating the choices that affect and direct your life. When you do that, you feel good about it. You have something to feel proud of. There is perhaps no better programming you can give yourself than the programming that tells you that you approve of yourself. You like what you're doing, and you're proud of yourself for doing it. Four, you will learn to become aware of why you make the choices you make. In the past, Many of the choices that each of us made, as we have learned, were the result of our past programming. It was as though those choices were up to them instead of us. Now, you are in control of your choices. You are aware of the choices you make, and you know why you make them. This is a picture of a person who is in control. Each time you ask yourself the question, why did I choose to make this choice, you, for you force yourself to give yourself good reasons for the choices you make. That can be a challenge, but it is worth the time that it takes to ask yourself the question and give yourself a good answer. Each time you do this, you give yourself more personal control over each choice you make. 
And doing that always gives you more control over what happens to you in your life. Again, one, ask yourself, is this a choice? Two, say to yourself, this choice is mine. Three, state the words, my choice is, and complete the sentence. Four, ask yourself the question, why have I made this choice? Or you could say, I make this choice because. As it is with most of our successes in life, it is often the simplest of the steps that we take that make the difference. These four steps are simple enough, and they work. The results they create for people when they begin using them are sometimes surprising and always worthwhile. And I choose now to make it a great day. Bye for now.